All right, folks, Apple has just released a new demo for 4M, their latest, up to datest AI. It's a multimodal AI, which means it can process text, audio, and video, and it can even handle 3D stuff. I'll put a GitHub link for you in the description. Without wasting any more time, let's take a closer look at this new AI from Apple. First off, 4M stands for Massively Multimodal Mask Modeling System. Um, the S wouldn't have fitted in, so it's just 4M. As stated, it can process not just text and images, but also 3D data. For example, it can generate accurate visual representations of textual descriptions, which is a feature that I guess could be quite beneficial for those in graphic design or marketing or similar stuff. Another cool thing beyond visual generation is that 4M excels in object detection within images or videos. And I think this could be useful in security applications where you need quick and precise identification of activities or anomalies. In short, it seems that its ability to process and react to visual data efficiently could make it a practical tool in various professional settings. Now, for the 3D buffs, check this out. Say you're an architect or a game developer. You can just simply describe what you need, and the AI creates and adjusts the 3D model accordingly. Now, to be honest, knowing a bit about the current efficiency levels of AI, I don't think everything will be completely perfect. I mean, if you're, say, a virtual reality game designer, 4M could definitely help you shorten development times. But I believe you still need to make some revisions and not blindly trust the AI. A touch-up here and there is always necessary, but it will undoubtedly be a big help. Anyway, folks, what really makes 4M special is how it pulls together text, images, audio, and even spatial data into one smooth package. It's about cutting down on the clutter of having too many tools and making it uh, easier for anyone to work with AI. Basically, you can chat with it like a pal, and it gets what you're trying to do, hopefully helping you streamline your work and get things done faster. Also, for the majority of you that keep asking in the comments, let's talk about Siri, because 4M could definitely improve that. Right now, Siri can handle the basics, simple commands, answering questions, the usual stuff. But imagine if, with the 4M's brains, Siri could tackle complex, multi-part questions effortlessly. Picture asking Siri to pull up the latest snaps from your vacation, and then, in the same breath, asking for the name of that restaurant where you had dinner, followed by suggestions for similar spots nearby. You know, I think that with 4M, Siri wouldn't just show you the photos, but also remember details about the restaurant and recommend other places you might like. I guess this could be a huge step up in making digital assistants more helpful and intuitive. But hey, it's not just Siri that gets a boost. Think about creative tools like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. Video editing is no joke. The whole dance of importing clips, cutting them, adding effects, and stitching it all together. I think it could definitely streamline all of that. Then, folks, uh, we have the AR and spatial computing. Apple's AR kit is already pretty cool. It lets developers mix digital stuff into the real world. But with 4M, these experiences could get a whole lot richer. Say you're redecorating your living room. You could tell the AI to drop a modern couch here, add a coffee table, and switch the wall color to, I don't know, light blue, all in real time. The AI would understand your instructions and make it happen right in your AR setup. That's pretty cool. Anyway, folks, you should know that Apple has teamed up with the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Luzang to roll out the public demo of their 4M AI model on Hugging Face Spaces. This comes out seven months after they first dropped the model for free, which was a big deal for spreading advanced AI tech to more folks. Now, with this public demo, everyone's getting a chance to see what 4M can really do by testing it out themselves. So, yeah, all of this really piques my curiosity. They've typically kept their cards close to their chest, but this time, they're throwing open the doors by hosting 4M on Hugging Face, a well-known open-source AI hub. 
Well, what do you think of that, folks? And I guess the choice of hugging face spaces isn't random either. If you don't know, it's got a super user-friendly setup and a vibrant community, really excited about the AI envelope. So basically, Hugging Face is a hotspot for AI development. You know, by dropping the 4M there, Apple is just making it easy for everyone from hardcore AI nerds to beginners to get their hands on it. But uh, don't get me wrong, I don't think this is Apple being generous. It's a smart play. By letting developers tweak, poke, and prod the 4M model, Apple is betting on new apps and uses popping up all over the place, which I guess could seriously ramp up the model's impact across different fields like healthcare, finance, entertainment, and education. They're aiming to weave this AI deeper into the fabric of tech usage, and uh, frankly, it's pretty exciting to see where this could lead. Then let's talk timing, folks. You know, the launch of Apple's 4M couldn't be more intriguing, especially with the current buzz around AI. While giants like Microsoft and Google have been grabbing the spotlight with their flashy AI partnerships and innovations, Apple has been doing its thing more under the radar, but with steady progress. You know, folks, I think that this 4M demo could be a statement that they're big players in the AI game too. And it looks like the market is noticing. Since the start of May, Apple stock has jumped a whopping 24%, boosting its market value by over $600 billion. <laughs> that is a staggering amount. Now, Apple stands right behind NVIDIA as one of the tech sector's top value climbers. Anyway, folks, I thought it would be useful to show you what Apple says directly from their machine learning research site. So basically, they say that current machine learning models for vision tasks are usually pretty rigid. They stick to one modality and one task, like they either do text or images, but not both, and certainly not more and above and beyond that. But what if they could mix it up more? That's where Apple's 4M comes into the picture, throwing a curveball at traditional models. In this latest study, the team has whipped up something called the 4M training scheme. This isn't just any old approach. It's about using a single, slick, transformer, encoder, decoder that handles a whole buffet of input and output modalities. We're talking text, images, even geometric and semantic bits and pieces, plus neural network feature maps. The cool part is that it maps everything into discrete tokens and gets down to business, performing multimodal mask modeling on just a small, randomized set of these tokens. So what's the big deal with 4M? First off, it's ready to tackle a whole range of vision tasks right out of the gate. Then it really shines when you fine-tune it for new tasks or modalities it hasn't seen before. And perhaps the cherry on top, it's also a generative model. This means you can feed it any kind of data and it can generate or edit content based on that data. I mean, this 4M sounds quite provocative. Personally, I really like the feature of creating and editing 3D projects. But let me know in the comments what you think of 4M and which features intrigued you the most. As always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.